morning, so it's Thursday 26th of August. The weather today is looking well, a bit of everything. It's a bit wet outside, looks like there's been a bit of drizzle overnight. It's sunny, it's, there's cloud, it's windy, a bit of everything. So as soon as I get a chance today, we'll pop out and see what we can find. I've just come out from my morning walk. It's a bit breezy today though, so that won't be good for any migrating birds going over, but we're gonna try and look on the lake quickly anyway, see if anything's blown in. Um, also wind means it's not so good for dragonflies or butterflies, but let's see what we can find anyway. Lots of black-headed gulls coming in now. So there's quite a few black-headed gulls on this bank here. I'm just going to check through them and see if any of those have got rings on, like the bird we found yesterday. Okay, so I was just about to check the gulls for any rings on their legs, and I heard a green sandpiper calling, coming over from these trees here. Um, so I looked up and saw it zipping over, so I've just grabbed a couple of quick shots. It's pretty much in silhouette against the sky, um, and it zoomed on its way over. So the photos aren't great, but I can show you some of the identification points you can see, even at a quick view against a bright sky like that. But most of all, the uh, call was very distinctive, which meant that I could pick up on it before the bird even came overhead. There's the green sandpiper blasting past. You can, um, even though it's pretty much in silhouette, you can just about see the white rump there and um, the broad black bands on the tail there. This is only the third one I've seen at Watermead, so that's a nice find. And while that was going on, all the gulls that I was going to check here have now moved onto the water. Uh, someone walked past with their dog. So I might have to wait a while until they come back on the bank before I can check the rings on those. Right, so it looks like that's all we're gonna get for this morning, I'm afraid. Uh, pretty tricky conditions in these high winds, but we'll try again at lunchtime. Okay, so I've just come back out on my lunch break. Conditions haven't changed much. Still pretty windy, but at least the sun's out a bit more now. I've just seen that there's plenty of black-headed gulls sat on this bank here. So I'm just gonna check those to see if any have rings on their legs. There's the ringed black-headed gull from yesterday, the one that was ringed in Finland. So there's the ring, you can just make out that it ends in 646, and you can just see the end of the word Finland at the bottom. So this bird stuck around now for a couple of weeks, and um, maybe it will even winter here. One common gull has just dropped in over there. These lovely flowers here in this yellow swathe are cat's ear. They're a little bit like a smaller dandelion and they're a member of the same family. Four yellow wagtails up there. So these lovely purple flowers growing at the side of the road here are hedgerow cranes bill and they're part of the geranium family. Here's a small tortoise shell. That is a real beauty, that one. It must be very fresh. It's absolutely perfect. And look at the blue patterning around the edge of the wing. Also got a small white butterfly here. Right, for the second time this week, I found a male common blue butterfly, which as you'll have heard in my other video, I'd only seen one ever before here, as there's not a lot of great habitat for them. And I just managed to snap a photo of that one as it was on the flowers there. It's an amazing blue colour. So it's great to be finding more common blue butterflies here at Watermead. That's probably something to do with the fact that these areas are the 
the edge of the fields here have been left unmown. There's a mixture of wild flowers that they like to feed on. Now there are some areas of water mead here, just on the other side of the river there, that have been sown as a wildflower meadow. But those are more of a traditional wildflower meadow that don't hold the species that the common blue feed on. Whereas here we've got a real mixture, we've got some uh, thistle species, um, lots of other species of these yellow flowers, there's a real mixture in here. Um, so it seems that this could potentially be a very good spot moving forward for the uh, common blue to expand in this area. So the yellow species of wildflower that there are plenty of here that I've just mentioned are these here which are ragwort, cat's ear, lesser hawk bit which is closely related to cat's ear, the dandelion that everybody knows, creeping sink foil, meadow buttercup, field clover otherwise known as hop trefoil, but the favourite of the common blues here seem to be this, which is bristly ox tongue. And there's yet another male common blue. This one preferring to feed on the thistles here. And another one. Like he's had a lucky escape from a bird strike. Now, just down here, I've seen a dock bug. It's quite a, an interesting little creature. I'm just going to zoom in and see if I can get some footage of it for you. So that's all I've got time for this lunchtime. I need to get back to work now. But if I get time after work today, I'll come back out again. So I did get a little bit of time out after work, but it was getting dark quick and it was pretty windy, so I didn't see much. There was nothing worth filming to show you. I saw a pair of kingfishers zip across the lake, one chasing the other, but just momentarily. And as I was crossing the meadow, I saw a silver wire moth, which is our most common immigrant moth. They do breed here but the young never make it into the next year uh, as they're killed off by our cold winters. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments section below. Please like and subscribe. And once you've subscribed, you'll see when I upload the next video. So have a good evening and see you tomorrow.